Hey, we got something different for you today. Today's review is sponsored by Factory Entertainment. Um, Factory Entertainment is really good at capturing a lot of different fanfare in different mediums. And what we want to show you guys today is their sort of housewares collection. I'm not sure what else to call it, uh, but it's going to be a good mixture of serving utensils and bottle openers. Uh, we've done some bottle openers in the past. Uh, we did the Jurassic Park Velociraptor Claw, which is not only a great bottle opener, but it's also a nice little prop if you're doing some cosplay or for, for Halloween, uh, dressing as Grant to have that little Raptor Claw. It just fits perfectly with the costume and it's functional at a party. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at a couple of the newer bottle openers. Uh, we got one here, Jaws, the floating barrel from the end of the film. Uh, and they turn that into a functional uh, bottle opener, which is really uh, pretty cool. So we'll just take a quick look at this guy here. The box, I think, is pretty neat. As you can see, it just has the, the iconic um, poster art on the side of the box. And um, not much else going on there, but that's nice that I captured that. And then, obviously, you can just see it through the window here, um, what it is. So getting inside it's uh, made out of a nice metal here I think it's uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of metal it is but it's a uh, nice solid metal it's not gonna break and the bottle opener part is right there at the bottom just at the bottom of the buoy uh, so it doesn't look like it's gonna crack or anything but this thing is really solid you're not gonna break it uh, just like the Velociraptor coal was all one piece of metal so pretty nice uh, give you just a little close-up of this right here and here you can see it nice and close up uh, see some nice little detailing on there um, I think they captured the buoy look really well so uh, I think that's just some um, abrasion marks on there with all the the black paint uh, it could also be some fuel spilt on them as well and then just the jaws logo on the front side so uh, there wasn't much to the buoy, so I think they kind of captured it. Uh, but, you know, it's a functional holder. It looks like collectible as well. So it's a nice you know, medium in between the two. But again, if you're a fan of Jaws, uh, this is a really cool little bottle opener to have. So moving on from the 70s to the 80s, we have the Goonies uh, Copper Bones bottle opener. Uh, I can't really give you a close up of this one other than this picture here because it's, um, it, it, the box just won't stand up on its own. But uh, this one I absolutely love. Um, huge Goonies fan, as were a lot of kids in the 80s. And this really captures the look of that uh, key that Mikey finds in the attic that kind of starts everything off. So uh, we get this awesome copper bones looking bottle opener here. The bottle opener features in the back. But on the front, you essentially have the copper bones. Um, you could line it up with the cliffs there, but uh, uh, it's you know it's not. It's probably I think it's going to be smaller than the actual size. It was probably a little bit uh, bigger for the uh, the actual prop replica. Uh, you could get a nicer one of these. Um, this is the uh, standard bottle opener. There's a special edition one. It's a, a lot more money than the, this version of it. So if you wanted to, you could get that. It's got a little bit more aging on it as well. We'll have some links up and you can check it out. Um, I think it might be a little bit bigger too, not sure, but uh, this one's still pretty cool. Uh, if you're a Goonies fan, this would make a nice little accessory for your costume, but again, at a party, it's functional. So um, I like these bottle openers because they're great for uh, showing off your fan love, but at the same time, um, if you wanted to use them for a costume <laughs> and then you're bringing a functional accessory to a party, it's just a great combination, or it's just fun to have at a party. Uh, this would go great with an aquatic themed party to just have a little Jaws buoy there. And uh, yeah, this would be great. Um, you know, any, any kid from the 80s will easily recognize this thing. So this is definitely pretty awesome that they captured this and, and turned it into a little functional um, housewares piece. So pretty cool. Uh, put that there. Now we're going to take a look at um, some, I guess, serving ware, uh, we'll call it. Uh, this is the STCC exclusive uh, Aquaman Trident Fork uh, cocktail set. Um, you know, 
as you can see here on the box, uh, you got that Aquaman logo clearly from the, the movie here. Uh, on the back, you can see what these are being used for. So uh, they have them perfect for a cocktail here or serving, you know, shrimp, cheese or whatever. Uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, as it notes, it's hand wash only. They don't want you, you know, throwing these things in the dishwasher. Unclear what would happen, but um, probably not meant to be put under that rigorous level of cleaning. So the box is just a simple flap on here. And then on the inside, of course, we have the little trident forks. And they're all made out of a really sturdy metal. You can feel the little weight to them. But they got a lot of neat little detail. It's going to be hard for me to show you um, on a 360, but I'll put a picture here where you can just see the, the detail on these things, which is pretty cool because they're just meant to be as a serving fork, but they factor entertainment. It's known for their um, scaled replicas in addition to their full-size replicas. So they were able to, to scale this sucker down and put a lot of detailing on the, on the shaft here, uh, on the handle, some ridges here on the, the, the bottom of the spear as well. So that's pretty neat that they went through that level of effort to still make it look close to the uh, tridents from the film. Uh, but it's only meant to be used as a little serving fork. So you get four of these in a set. Not bad. Um, so, yeah, I think conversation piece at your next party. Uh, again, even if you're not an Aquaman fan, it's pretty cool to have Trident as you're uh, serving utensils. Uh, we'll have links to all these uh, at the end, too. So if you're interested in checking any of them out, um, definitely recommend it. They're still in stock. Uh, so this is a pretty cool little set for uh, serving. Uh, recommended out of your next uh, aqua-themed aqua party. Uh, not bad. And then last but not least, we have this awesome Jurassic Park dinner plate. This was also an SDCC exclusive. Uh, this one I just really caught my eye when they advertised it. It is a dinner plate based on the movie, on that scene when they were all sitting down um, before everything went crazy and having a meal while uh, Hammond is explaining the park and the, the future of the park to them. Uh, so this is really cool that they were able to capture some of this detail. Let's just take a quick look at the box. So of course this one's sporting the iconic Jurassic Park logo on it. Um, <laughs> very descriptive dinner plate. Uh, that doesn't really do it justice because it was quite an elegant looking dinner plate. Um, this is a full scale prop replica um, for them. Uh, there's no real shots of the image on the box itself. Uh, but again, this is a hand wash item. Um, clearly, I, I don't think this is meant to be used as a plate, but I guess you could if you, had, if you really, really wanted to. But uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, these come in at about $50, so they'd be a pretty expensive set of plates if you wanted to get a, a, a full set to uh, use as servingware. So as I was saying, this is more of a decorative item and collectible rather than a functional um, plate. But if you wanted to, you could totally use it as a functional plate, but I think it's just better as a display piece. Um, so this guy comes wrapped and a really nice um, soft foam here. Uh, that's it, yeah. So there's a little stand here actually included with it. So again, going back to my thought of a display piece and not an actual um, piece. I'll figure that out in a minute. But the plate is nice, nicely wrapped. But you can see it here with this really nice gold leaf. This is actually, I think, just a protector. Yep. Um, it's actually, oh, look at that, the numbering on it. This is number 890 out of 1,000. So they have a little, I guess, the certificate of authenticity, yeah, to make it an actual prop replica. So that, really pretty. Um, if I get the stand working here, I'll try to do a 360. But uh, got that gold leaf on it, um, that nice coloring. Uh, this is, this is it. I mean, this is exactly what the plate was in the movie. So this is really nice. I would not eat off of this because I'd be afraid of ruining it. I mean, it's a very spared no expense type of plate. And then in the back, they have the numbering there. So another reason you wouldn't want to stick this in a dishwasher, you're going to probably wear off that numbering as well. So pretty nice plate here. Um, 
I mean, if you're a huge fan of Jurassic Park, this is just a nice little piece of color to have in your house, um, display cabinet and whatnot. Uh, I think it's quite unique. Um, of all the, the things we've seen in Jurassic Park, we have not seen the dishware. It's a, a little bit of a deep cut, but pretty cool. So why don't we give you guys a 360 of this one so you can just appreciate it a little bit more. So we figured it out. You can see here the stand, a little bit of trial and error. There's no instructions. Uh, it just took us playing around with a minute to figure out how these two fit together. But uh, you can see that really gorgeous plate with that nice gold leaf inlay on it. All that detailing captured um, for a scene that was only, I think, two or three minutes tops. So it's pretty cool that they took this and made it a reality. Uh, if you're a Jurassic Park fan, you, you saw all the merchandise in the movie and you wish you could get those lunch boxes or those um, plush dinosaurs or, you know, little um, things like the plates or the bowls or whatnot. So this is pretty cool that they were able to bring this to, to life. So any Jurassic Park fan would really appreciate this. I think um, it's just such a unique piece. Uh, it's just like, you know, makes it more real. <laughs> So that about wraps it. We wanted to give you just a quick look at some of these things. Uh, we're going to be having them in our gift guide this year. Of course, we'll have a link to Factory Entertainment so you can check out more of their products. There's more bottle openers. Uh, there's one from Back to the Future, Batman, Jurassic Park. So uh, something for everybody. Just take a look at them. It's a great way to display your fandom. Uh, just a fun little uh, decoration to add a little color to your next party. Uh, or you could have a conversation piece, <laughs> something like this Jurassic Park plate, I think really elevates it up a notch. Or you could have a really functional, nerdy party by having these cocktail forks. I think they have something for everyone, so you just take a look and check out their products. Uh, that's all for now. We'll have more factory entertainment stuff uh, coming up next week. We're going to be taking a look at the scaled replicas that they just got out. So I don't want to give any spoilers on those, but tune back in if you're a fan of Thundercats. Uh, so other than that, like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you guys next time.